Hey guys, thanks for joining us. Hey, this is just an average evening at Flight Junkies. Hey, if you pan over the field here, this is our uh, Ohio training field. And we got 30 acres of beautiful grass here. If you miss the fly-in, you really miss something. But this is where we do our Ohio training. And of course, we train down in Florida during the, uh, during the winter months. And of course, training is free of charge. You know that. We train free of charge. Anybody that gets equipment from here has lifetime training, not only for themselves, but for their entire family. We get people from all over the country. We get people from all over the world coming in. Uh, last year, we had people come in from Japan, Dubai, England, South Africa. We got flight junkies in Australia now. Uh, our videos are becoming very popular over there. In fact, a lot of the uh, distributors and dealers over there are, are using our methods of training. Uh, we have very unique ways of training, very unique products. Um, Fresh Breeze being, in my opinion, top of the line. There's features on it that aren't found in any other brand. But uh, I want to introduce you to a, a brother Christian of mine that came in for training. And uh, maybe you've uh, seen the handbags, maybe you've seen the watches, the apparel. Maybe you've heard of Gucci. <laughs> well, this isn't him, but his name is Gucci. And uh, go ahead, tell a little bit about yourself and uh, where you're from. Uh. Uh, my name is Gucci. I am Kenyan, uh, uh, originally from Kenya, living in the U.S. Uh, found out about this guy online and decided to check him out. Uh, it's pretty legit, uh, <laughs> and I'd recommend it. Uh, how, do you, how are you happy with the equipment so far and everything so that's far, been so going good. on? So far, so you good. You having a good I'm time here? Yes, I am. That's it. We good did have a great here. time and uh, loaded up the flight junkie bus today and took a whole army full of students to church with us today. Went out for a good buffet afterwards and had a great time. It's good to have fellowship, have the same father and uh, from somebody that's all the way on the other side of the planet. And uh, it's good to have some good Christian fellowship with him. And uh, he's about to become 1184, Light Junkie 1184. Uh, we're just going to help him out here. We got his radio on. He's been through ground schooling. He's been in the simulator. He's watched the videos. He's seen the horrific things that can happen. No, but he has watched some of the safety videos. So. Uh, we, he's ready to make his flight here, and we're going to have a good time flying, so we thought we'd share that with you, and good luck up there. Appreciate it. All right, brother. All right. All right, we'll get the headset on you. All right. Will you always pray with these guys? Father, watch over them, keep them safe, put a hedge of protection around them, help them think straight, let them have a good time. We thank you for everything that you did up here for us, and uh, just for our life and what you did on the cross. And uh, have a good time up there, brother. Okay, let's get our steering in our hand. Yeah, let okay. right from the glass. All right, watch yourself now. We're going to start it up. And then we'll put our hands above our head. Keep that front wheel straight at the beginning. Just pause the video for a second. Okay, so that went pretty good. Uh, the only thing he did is he didn't break, uh, which is to stop the wing from overshooting. If you watch my other video, how to launch a powered paragliding tray, Captain Kurtzow, one of the things that we do is as the wing does come into view, we want to, uh, we want to stop it from overshooting us. And also he kind of turned his wheel and started headed towards the trees, so we shut him down. When you're launching a powered paragliding trike, if it's not going the way you like, all you do is shut it off, and it's nothing more than a two-minute reset. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to get him right back up, and uh, we'll come back to you in just a moment. Okay, here we go again. Take two. And this is good. They, they learn from that they can shut it off. This is also good to have a few mistakes. Uh, I don't really like to call them mistakes because it's really a learning process. If you knew how to do it, you wouldn't be here. Uh, so we kind of teach you and you get the feel of it. It's all foreign to you, so everybody does this when they come in. So we're just showing you some of what goes on. So hopefully this one will go a little bit better. He'll break down when I tell him to break, and uh, we'll go from there.
Gooch, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, let's get those hands up. Let's get those hands up. Look up for the wing. We don't want to see, we don't want to look out in the field. There's nothing to see out there. Well, we, we want to see the only thing that can hurt us, which is a wing that's not centered. If we stay on the throttle with a wing that's not centered, it can eventually get enough lift to roll us over. That's the hardest trike to roll because of that front end. Uh, we have that very unique feature of self-articulation, but you can roll it if you stay on the throttle. So we'll get ready to brake. If I say kill it, you'll kill it. And uh, let's see what we get. We're going to look up for the wing now. Look for it's coming. If you see, when you hear me say brake, show me what you're going to do. Brake. Exactly. Shoulder level. Okay, let's look up for the wing. Don't look at us. There you go. Half throttle. Take it to half throttle right now. <laughs> Nice slow takeoff, right turn, right turn. Go away from the barn, there you go. Stay on the throttle, stay on it. Right turn, all the way towards, all the way back around. Beautiful, stay full throttle, there you go. Beautiful, beautiful, keep coming around. There you go, go straight. Looking good, Gooch. Little bit of left hand turn, little bit of left turn, left turn, beautiful, coming right over our head. Excellent job, brother. Excellent job. Yahoo. Get you some. <laughs> Got it. Good job, brother. Good job. Left hand. Left hand. Yeah. Look at him go. Woo. Nice. Beautiful takeoff, Gooch. That's what we want to do. A nice slow rollout. Nice long rollout. Get it under control and a nice slow climb out. That was beautiful, brother. Good job. Okay. Left hand turn back towards me. Beautiful job. Okay, we're just going to bring it in, Gooch. You're looking good. Just stay on that heading. You don't have to start micro steering. Just let it let it come into the open field. You're doing great. You're doing great. You're going to wait until about the last five feet, and then we're just going to pull it on nice and slow, and you want to look out ahead of you. You don't want to look down. You want to look out ahead of you, and you don't want to flare high. You want to wait until you're about the last five feet. Just keep going straight down the middle of the field. Little bit. Of, there you go. Beautiful. Look where you want to land. Little bit of right turn, Gooch. A little bit of right turn. Beautiful. Looking good. Looking good. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, get ready. Ease it on. Slow. Go. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. A little too hard. Hit it hard now. There you go. Not bad. Okay, lift one hand. Oh, good job. Welcome home, spaceman. <laughs> All right, he got some. Woo! He's down. Anyways, guys. Thanks for joining us. We thought you'd enjoy that. We got a beautiful sunset here at Flight Junkies, and uh, we're having a great day. This week we were slammed. We, we had about a dozen students coming in and going, and one group was going while the other ones were coming in. We got a group over here waiting to make their flight, so they're waiting patiently for Gooch to get out. We just got a beautiful evening tonight. It is so dead out here. It's gorgeous. And uh, we want you to come down here and join us. Call us up anytime. You're welcome to come in and monitor our classes. Come in and see what we do. There's, no, there's nothing wrong with that. You can sit in on the training, watch people making their first flight. We're building a bunkhouse uh, so people have a place to stay when they come here and they don't even have to pay for a motel. We've got our own military bunkhouse that's being built right now so you'll have a place to sleep. Come on in and join us. Thanks. See you around.